गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रॉम स्कर्दू इट्स आर थर्ड डे हेयर एंड इट इज़ अगेन सनी मॉर्निंग इन स्कर्दू टेम्परेचर अराउंड ट्वेंटी डिग्रीज स्टिल इट इज़ नॉट लाइक यू नो इरीटेटिंग काइंड ऑफ सन लाइट यू इन्जॉय द सन हेयर वेदर इज प्लेजेंट इवन दो इट्स सनी एंड टूडे वी आर हैडिंग टू दो साई प्लेन वी विल बी विजिटिंग सतपारा लेक ऑन आर वे दैन बड़ा पानी दैन शोसर लेक एंड वी विल बी होपिंग फिंगर्स क्रॉस दैट वी कैन ऑल्सो हैव अ मीटिंग विद बियर्स एट द ब्राउन बियर्स देयर एट द टॉप वी आर गोइंग टू टेक टू डे टू टॉप ऑफ दियर साई प्लेन एंड दिस इज खावत भाई ही विल बी आर पायलट टूडे Satpara Lake and Satpara Dam. Uh, this is located on Skardu Deosai Road. And about this lake uh, or dam, this is the main power generating uh, source for Skardu city and its surrounding. We are about to enter the Osai National Park. Uh, this is the chat post uh, right behind me now. And entry fees here is forty uh, rupees for Gilgit Baltistan residents, three hundred for Pakistani nationals uh, from anywhere other than Gilgit Baltistan, and twenty dollars uh, or around thirty-four hundred rupees for one foreigner. Sai National Park we are at the top right now and the sai has completely turned white with snow a couple of facts about the sai national park uh, it is like 12700 feet above sea level and uh, its total area is about 3000 square kilometers Five star restaurant on top of the Osai, and we have just ordered tea because it's very cold outside. So tea will warm us up. This is the sort of heater that they use here in the mountainous areas. We are at Bada Pani right now. Our first stop inside the Osai National Park. Uh, there is another Shatong Nulla uh, on our way, but we didn't stop there uh, because we have to cover a lot of distance to reach Shosar Lake and then be back in time before the sunset. So, if we have time, we have light, we will stop at Shatong uh, on our way back. by the way this used to be only crossing right now i am standing on like a concrete bridge from where the uh, vehicles also go and we can also cross on foot but some years back uh, this was the only crossing and the vehicles would cross from inside the water and if you had to cross by foot this was the only option you had this is exactly what these people are doing right now been stuck here from last 5 10 minutes and it might take pretty long because uh, an air force convoy is coming from the other side and because of snow fresh snow it is very slippery up there so they are coming at very very low speed uh, they are they are carrying very heavy weight on those vehicles so uh, their brakes are almost not working so we just have to wait and watch what happens next and uh, 
they are coming so slow that they might take like a couple of hours before crossing us from here and then we will be allowed to move forward then we will have to see if we have time to be back before sunset uh, even if we go to Shosar Lake or we might have to cancel that and just go back from here journey but absolutely beautiful journey uh, with snow white mountains all around uh, we have finally reached Shosar Lake our last stop for today and we are little bit fortunate that uh, Nanga Parbat can also be seen from here uh, because last time when I came here the weather was very uh, cloudy so we had no view of Nanga Parbat this time uh, it is still cloudy above the uh, Nanga Parbat mountain but still we can see that quite clearly there you can see Nanga Parbat at the middle of this frame hiding in the clouds and here is Shosha Lake Hectic drive, a lot of walking on the snow, snow fighting and some dancing with the locals. It's time for some sweets. Here is almost a toilet in the middle of the plane and uh, they have Wi-Fi here. They don't have Wi-Fi anywhere else but at least in the toilet it is available. They know how important it is. Goodbye to the Osai Plains. Uh, we have just exited the plains and now we are heading back to Skull. Good morning from Skardu. And today we are heading to Shigar Valley, Blind Lake, Sarfaranga Cold Desert that will be on the way. And then if we are on time, we will be visiting Harpocho Fort as well as Mantal Buddha Rock. And today is our last day here. Tomorrow the Russians, Irina and Max have their flights uh, back to Islamabad and Karachi then back to Russia. And the day after tomorrow I have my flight to Lahore. So let's see how the day goes, how the last day goes here in Skardu. We changed our plan a little bit because Manthal Buddha Rock uh, was on our way. Uh, just outside the city so we decided to first see this and then head to Shigar Valley and people here with me they are not good at hiking although it is not much but we have parked our car down there and now we have to hike all the way up on our feet so even I don't like these kinds of things where we have to walk Buddha rock just behind me this is like uh, from 9th century but so unfortunate that people are so bad at preserving history and leaving it for good you can see a lot of people have written names on this wall you can see a lot of Urdu and English alphabets and names right on top of that Buddha rock I mean even if you are not Buddhist I really believe that we should respect these kinds of uh, things whether it is a mosque or a Buddhist uh, prayer place or church or mandir anything like that but unfortunately 
people don't worry about these things here Valley right now before going to Shigar Fort we will be heading to Blind Lake that's right behind me uh, not visible from here but we will be heading that way first and right now I'm standing at Shigar view point from this place you can see the full Shigar Valley and the cold deserts on one side it is a very beautiful point to stand and enjoy the scenery Sugar Fort and uh, in last last 10 11 days this is the first place where we are asked to wear face masks before entering the fort and that too perhaps because uh, it is now administered by Serena uh, Serena hotels and they have their guests as well on one side of the fort Fort and uh, before going to Sarfaranga Desert, uh, we were a little hungry, so we thought about uh, making a quick stop for some uh, food. So here we have found on the same uh, Sugar Fort Road uh, this guy who is making chapli kebab and barbecue. We have ordered three chapli kebabs and uh, three leg piece uh, barbecued, and then we will move on to Sarfaranga Desert. We have done everything we had planned for on this trip and now we are at Sarfaranga Desert. Uh, we are asking rates for things here, uh, maybe quad bike, we can drive on this cold desert or we can go for this jeep ride, this is 3500 and he will take us deep into the Sarfaranga Desert. This quad bike here, it is 1000 for 10 minutes but he has given me special permission to ride it for 12 minutes in 1000. 